The United Nations has asked Australia to consider suspending the Adani coal project until it gains the backing of those traditional owners who are fighting the miner in court. A UN watchdog has warned the project could leave Australia in breach of an international convention on Indigenous rights. But the federal government says the UN should respect Australian courts, which have upheld Adani's dealings. Josh Robertson has this exclusive report. Adani says its Queensland mine will deliver jobs to generations of Aboriginal people. And building what is going to be a sustainable and transformative relationship with the WNJ people. But the UN's racial discrimination watchdog has warned that Adani's land use agreement could violate Indigenous rights. It's asked Australia to respond to concerns over how the Wangan and Jagalingu were consulted. It wants the government to consider suspending the Carmichael coal mine and rail project until free and informed consent is obtained from all Indigenous peoples. It's not a step that the committee takes lightly. So the US-based lawyer Martin Wagner argued the case for a group of W and J representatives still fighting the mine in court. I would hope that in being called out in this way by an international institution that is an expert in international human rights, that Australia would take that seriously. But the Federal Resources Minister Matt Canavan says the UN should back off and the issues have been tested in Australian courts. The UN should respect the Australian legal system and its processes and this particular committee should not try to direct our actions in matters which it clearly does not understand. But Adani's Indigenous opponents have found key support. A legal fund that boasts former corruption fighter Tony Fitzgerald as its patron has put up $50,000 to allow the case against Adani to continue. People shouldn't have to choose between fighting for the rights of their community and bankruptcy. I think it raises a the Grata Fund says the case raises a legitimate legal question about the native title system. I think the significance of the United Nations raising the issue with Australia really points to the public interest question that's at the heart of this case. Adani says it's supported by a majority of traditional owners and courts have repeatedly upheld its dealings. It says it will continue to work with native title claimants. Josh Robertson, ABC News.